Well, Joker, probably the best doubles character, undisputably. Arson, just such a threat almost mm -hmm. always because of how much you get hit in doubles. And Ike, just a great support character with throws that kind of combo really nicely in doubles. And just having that, like, constant kill power to be tossed to. So, right off the bat, I love the way that Ralphie and Solsu just played off of each other, dealing almost, like, 70% to the Ike. That's going to be an SD from oh. Solsu, though. Really, really unfortunate despite that uh, strong start but you know it's only game one obviously so many things can happen in the course of a double set yeah it's best to get an sd like that out of the way especially with that down air being so good against ike a very easy edge guard coming from Solsu. that was even the sweet spot like you just saw him like slowly get pushed down and ike just lacks that aerial drift to get back on so just good awareness and spacing from Solsu, i feel like um, to be able to land that You know, Ralphie's just done a great job. I haven't seen him get hit in a hot minute. He's constantly just uh, reading the landing options from Joker. I saw him back here a down gun earlier and really just passing him to Solcer for Solcer yep. to do Solcer things. Really good rising forward to get back onto stage. I like the aggressive options, but I want to see uh, maybe Kurusu and Mashu adapt to them a little bit more. And right now, Getting hit with the up B, really, really smart not to drift in. Of course, if you get hit with the up, up B close to ledge and you DI in, you are going to um, succumb. Ooh. The backer. So good. Oh! That actually going to get two kills. Great dash attack coming out from Ike. Yeah, no, that was really, really smart. It was able to, like, clean up and bring it. Wow, this, this is isn't almost yeah. even set, yeah. Especially with uh, Arson, can quickly get some percent racked up. And just like that, Ralphie at 50. And, and that was what I was so afraid of. I just, uh, Ralphie wanted to wait for the up B a little bit, but unfortunately, he had the right idea, but the execution was a little bit suboptimal. Really smart air dodge back onto ledge, coming from the Ike. Ooh, they tried to do a combo right there with Charizard's down throw. It holds in place for a long time. I think almost got the... Ooh, is that a grab into down air? Yeah, forward throw into down air from Zar Charizard. Ooh, not what I like to see from Solcer. I've actually, his Charizard is prone to go for those raw flare blitzes. And right now, you're gonna. Be, I'm not entirely sure which of these is this uh, Ku, uh, Kuso Mashu, but I in a one v one scenario with Ra <gasps> he took the jump with the neutral B, and that's gonna be the game. Some extremely unfortunate stocks right there. SD from Solcer to start off the game. Uh, and then Ralphie getting clipped at 50 with the Ike up B, and then his jump being clipped at 20 with Joker Gap Guns. They lost so many of their stocks just a lot earlier than I feel like, you know, they should have. And, you know, it's game one. It's game one. They're first game of the day. First game of the day. Everybody's getting a little a little adjusted. But um, I just feel like even, like, despite the fact that they lost game one, Solsu and Ralphie did an amazing job of, like, playing off of each other's, like, throws. Like, you just saw them, like, ready, like, to follow. They put themselves in fantastic positions to be able to follow up on the dash attacks, to be able to follow up on the forwarders and the grabs. And they got so much mileage off of it, like you saw in the first 10 seconds of the game. They racked up 80% on Ike. Mwah. Mwah. Beautiful stuff. That's a, that, you know what? That's a chef kiss. Mwah. 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 Yeah, I think Ralphie and Solcer, they know they're amazing players. They know they can win this. They know it was just a really unfortunate game. I think they're just going to shake this off and go straight into game yep. two. Um, and for game two, you're actually going to see the switch into Robin and Ganondorf. That's a really... This was... If you told me they were going to switch to Robin and Ganondorf, I'd call you crazy. I'd call you insane. But look where we are right now. And I'm not entirely a fan of, like, Alto's maneuvering thing. Like, you saw him, like, do a full double jump and a couple of beauty verses and then shoot a side B, the, the arc fire in the wrong direction. And I feel like he was just like, maybe just trying to move for the sake of moving, more so than he was actively looking for something. That's definitely a problem among uh, maybe not super high level players, is when they first learn how to move, it gets to their head, you know? Yep. Uh, you do a couple beer verses, you're feeling good about yourself. But, Ralphie, actually gonna lose the first stock, and the roll read to bring it right back. And wow, the Ganon's still, I'm so sorry, I don't know who is who, but the Ganon's still able to make it back, a fantastic recovery attempt. I love those up airs, just because like he was maybe like trying to catch a dash in or uh, a fall off stage. The soft up air comboing into the F smash. Wow, this is really, really. I mean, I'm just super. 
That's such a fantastic Ugg Thunder to get back on. Ralphie is just forced to sit in shield. Maybe he could have jumped off and reflected it, but his timing would have had to be impeccable. F smashing. And uh, this is still soon. even. You know, after game one, I thought this game was going to be a lot, a lot more in Ralphie and Solcer's favor, assuming they just shake it off. But they're holding their own with yep. two entirely new characters. And like, you just see like, ah, Judy, um, Solso is getting a little bit impatient with his defensive options, air dodging all the way up. And, you know, like Ganon able just to like, mash up an up air to deal a lot of damage to Solso that way. Yeah, Ganon. Ganon's such a threat in doubles, but an SD is going to happen. Uh, but Ralphie dying too is slightly in Red Team's favor. But not all that much considering that, you know, they have a Ganon that's active. Like at any given moment, like even one of them could die. Um, that was oh. an interesting air dodge coming from Solsi, and I'm not entirely sure about the intention behind it. And now finally they've secured themselves a considerable stock lead, trying to get the forward air onto Solsi, but unfortunately extending the hitbox inadvertently. Cars are being so big, Ganon can just F tilt and it will cover the roll in and this attack in place. Uh, not sure what killed him, to be quite honest. There were so many different yeah. two actions just taking place simultaneously. Bolster getting the up air strength. This is a pretty heavy lead, but I could see Ganon F smashing Ralphie at the ledge right now and it all of a sudden turned into a 2v1. And oh, Ralphie getting the lead on the tech chase, but oh, unfortunately releasing down smash a little bit too early. Ralphie almost dying right there. Oh, good really tag. Touch. Wait, he didn't take any knockback yeah, from the dash attack? Yeah, that was interesting. I've never really seen that interaction because you don't see it too often. <gasps> Great dash attack. Yeah. And right now, I don't want to say that this is undoable because all he needs is like a good, solid back heel on Ralphie, but so smart of Ralphie to be playing back there in the initial exchange until they're in advantage. Because if he loses his stock, it can suddenly, you know... Oh. Ooh. I feel like that was, he might have been dead anyway, but that seemed like poor DI. Uh, probably not ready for it. Um, yeah, he DI'd definitely like down in a way. Mm -hmm. He was um, probably trying to DI a back throw to avoid a team combo and mm -hmm. just ended up dying. But not really much he could do right there. He was pretty screwed over as long as Ralph was yep. on top of things. Um, but I want to say, like, I feel like Mesh and Kurisu are doing a fantastic job. They were just like securing like a lot of really, really early kills. And yeah, actually, they've been like a couple of SDs, but um, you, you know, you gotta make the most out of it. It's you, you, we take those. Yeah, and there was actually um, if uh, the Ganon did not SD at 50, that could have been a very different game and potentially a pretty big upset to start off mm -hmm. Xenosaga. Especially like if you think about Ganon, you think of him. Okay, he's a stock sink. He's gonna be dying to like Wolf and Pokemon Trainer 130, 140. Right, um, 50 percent is like you know like. He, he had so much more left in him and like so much. Who knows, who knows where the game, like, exactly as you said. Um, but going into game three, I feel like, yeah, definitely the awareness and making sure you're not gonna SD. Like, I mean, that's a given in any sort of set. But I feel like um, Solso has to watch out for his defensive options a little bit. Um, I feel like he was like nervously air dodging quite a bit. And then as a result, um, the Ganon was able to get um, some significant punishes that way. Yeah, for sure. And right now, they're going Ganon Joker. I kind of see this as the best of both worlds. Yep. Uh, the Ganon was putting in so much more work than the Ike, I feel like. And the Joker was able to clutch out Ralphie in that 1v1 at the end. So. And I feel like it was so smart for like, to start off the game by throwing out those side beats because, you know, they do so much. How much is the accumulated damage? I believe 13. 13% just from one non-committal and difficult to contest uh, special. So, yeah. Like, it's so good to just keep racking damage on, especially in dubs. And great awareness from the Ooh. And great awareness from the Joku to be able to jump uh, above Ganon when he was using his downbeat. We Ralphie trying to take the stock a little bit early with the back air, but uh Joku drifting in. Ooh, that up air gonna close it out. This is a huge lead to start off with. A lot of momentum in their favor. <laughs> and right now like a big drop. I feel like it's just so easy to fall into this habit of charging smashes and, and like doubles, especially when it was difficult to contest, it's like Ganon's. But I feel like more often than not, you're going to be losing a lot of advantage for it. And he got pineappled oh, under man. Town and City. Very, very unfortunate against so many SDs this side. Yeah, um, like we said earlier, Ooh. first game of, of the day. This is just everyone's kind of playing a little shaky. What's happening? What's going on? Ooh. Oh wow! And Ganon's just up smashing it up, barely on his own. He's just chilling. He's he's warming them up. This is a this is a mess. 
but I believe green team is uh, down by a hefty margin. Again. They still haven't taken Galfi's Flea Stock, and I feel like that's what Wolf does so well, especially when you have hitboxes that are so difficult to contest. Like, like, like you're going to be holding on to the stock for so long, but not anymore considering that Joku is able to get the back out. Yeah, Ralphie seems to be playing with with some anger this set, just being really aggressive, you know. We're not really seeing him, like, camp with lasers, but he's just constantly reading their options and getting My his son said he had there. enough. Yeah, for sure. And uh, this is looking clipped in a half. Yeah, but this is going to be a mountain for, for the Joku to climb. I'm not entirely sure what he can do here, but... I'll give you $20 billion if he makes this comeback. Word? Yeah, word. Word. That's how confident Shake. I am. Shake. 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 Um, Pogano, he's doing like a great job of holding his own. I love that grab mix-up. You didn't see him going for grabs all game. A great jump out. Smart use of his resources. Just knowing, okay, I have to get out of there in time. Um, yeah, Rafi sitting back playing patient. They're just trying to cover all bases. Gonna get hit with the down smash regardless. And that Ooh. Joker said, I got you. I won't put you in crippling debt for the rest of your life. I'm gonna DI that yeah. forward throw straight into the blast zone. And I will be back really, really soon, guys. I have to go and play my double set. So I will be back in a minute, but I believe actually, oh, 